Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mindy in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of what we eat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. So I would say for the woman in her menstrual, you know, her reproductive years, my over, like the overarching comment that you'll hear from me is that you should always be lifting heavy weights all through the cycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just how you structure the workout. That's going to change based on the hormonal composition that you are experiencing that week. So as a general, you know, kind of back of the envelope, let's say review when you're in your bleed week, first half of the week, estrogen's very low. Progesterone's not around. The only hormone that's kind of really working hard is something called follicular stimulating hormone, which is as it, as the name suggests is there to stimulate the follicle because that's the whole point of the follicular phase is to have one follicle that's chosen. That's going to develop the egg within it. Mm -hmm. So in the first uh, we'll say, let's say you start bleeding, you know, day one, day two, some women get a little crampy. There's, you know, there's a little lethargy there. I, I'm like that too. So the first kind of day that I get my period, I can feel like those uterine contractions, you know, expel, you know, trying to expel, uh, you know, expel the, um, the endometrial lining. So I tend to take it a little easier, right? Mm -hmm. For, for me, I tend to just do a lot of walking because I find that just that beautiful, you know, walking, when you think about what's happening mechanistically in the hips, of course, you're getting that beautiful figure eight in the sacrum, you're, you're lubricating the joints in the hip and the low back and the knees, which often a lot of women will complain about. So mm -hmm. I try to get, um, you know, if I'm taking a day off of weights, I'll try to get in something like 10 to 15,000 steps, like long walks, gentle, slow movement. Some women are like, let's have at it. So, mm -hmm. you know, you, there's a lot of bio individuality there. I just like to be a little easier on day one. Um, but kind of day two, day three, I'm right back at it. So it's heavy weights, but the rep range is what I would classify as moderate. So somewhere mm -hmm. between eight and 12 uh, reps. So let's say you're doing, you know, let's say a squat. Okay. Just for ease of, or a lunge or something, you're going to do maybe eight repetitions, you know, three to four sets of that exercise before moving on. And maybe you're combining into supersets or giant sets or whatever, but typically eight repetitions per group, eight to 12 repetitions per, per exercise is where I find is, is, you know, you have the least likelihood of injury. It's, kind of what you're able to do and punch out really easily that week. Um, when we move into week two, of course, towards the end of week one, and then kind of at the beginning of week two, we see this really big rise in estradiol, right? This is this big, like estrogen, of course, anabolic hormone, all about growth. Um, and it's trying to really push that follicular, like, so there can be that one follicle that's really developing. Um, this is a week where I like to, um, lift heavier. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll also say the other hormonal, the other hormone to consider this week is, um, is testosterone testosterone yeah. peaks this week as well. So I love still again, lifting heavy, but if the weight is heavier, that means that my set, like the amount of repetitions I'm going to punch out is going to be less, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say on the squat, just for an example, uh, 50, like let's say I did 50 pounds on the squat in week one. Well, if now I'm only doing five repetitions, I could do high, I, my number can be higher than 50. So maybe I'll try 60 or 65, let's say, but I'm only going to be doing five to seven reps of it. So I really, really love a high, high weight, low rep count in this week. In terms of cardio, your question around cardio, I think was well, uh, well placed here as well. This is a week where I tend to counsel women away from burst training. 